Welcome to another part of Geronimo Stone Save the White Whale. Okay, now let me read you the next one. We start off when he wins the sea blue trunks. Now, chapter 10, I think. Okay. The next day, all the gossip magazines on Mouse Island showed a picture of me on the cover. Can you guess what I was wearing? Yep, I was wearing... I had on the seaweed swim trunks. Couldn't things get any worse? I went down to breakfast there, and there were the three buzzy bodies. Busy bodies, or buzzy bodies, yeah. I tried to crawl under a table, but they stared shrieking. Look, everyone, there he is! They shouted, it's Geronimo Stilton! Where's your seaweed swimsuit? Oh, what a miserable vacation. I was, I was purple with embarrassment. A tuna would never take me seriously now. I could, I could, uh, I, how could I tell her I liked her after this disaster? I was so upset I hid under the, t I hid her of the buffet table, or the buffet table. But then my stomach started to rumble. The smell of hot cinnamon rolls, jelly donuts, and cheesy, and cheese danish made my mouth water. I couldn't stop myself, and I popped up from under the table and grabbed a plate and piled it high with all this kind of delicious breakfast food. There were cheddar pancakes, waffles, mozzarella muffins, cheesy cre crepes, bagels, and French toast. While I was eating, I began to feel better. Maybe things weren't so bad after all. I tried to forget about the seaweed swimsuit and, the, and concentrate on something positive. Since it was our second to last day at the beach, I had have, I have booked tickets for us to go whale watching. I couldn't wait. I was going to get the tuna rose, and I had never e and I had even made up a poem. To be sure I, I would forget it, I wrote the poem on the palm of my paw. Finally, we got to the high seas. The waves pushed the boat up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. The tuna was below in her cab, in her cabin. As I stepped down the small ladder, I felt my head spinning around and around and around. It's because I'm so excited, I thought. When I got to the cabin, I felt a knot in my stomach. It's, it's because I'm so excited, I thought. My knees were beginning to mush. It's because I'm so excited, I thought. Then to my horror. I realized something else had happened. I wasn't excited. I was seasick. My fur turned green as a cucumber. My stomach lurched. What had? Why hadn't I listened to the tuna's advice about overeating? Oh, what a miserable vacation! Okay, we're. I'll stop. We're gonna stop right here for right now. I'll pick up in a minute.